Hey everyone, Blair Valen with BlairValenTV.com. Welcome back to the show and I wanted to thank you for watching. And as I did in the last episode, went over a chart that I've been looking at and some different stats regarding uh, short sales. I want to go, go over the next segment in that, which is basically at the active number of foreclosures, which does relate to short sales because a lot of what's been on our market recently has been short sales and foreclosures. So in this specific chart, um, it goes over numbers from February of 08 to now, and in February of 08 there were about maybe 15,000 foreclosures that were active on the market. That number climbed maybe 2,500 or so for about the next maybe six months when it reached about maybe 30,000, so it, it doubled approximately. And then over the next probably four or five months it went up a little bit more and then in August or probably September of 09 is when it certainly reached a very high number which was about 52,000 or so and it stayed around there or that point till um, let's see January or so of this year and then it's gone down a little bit so obviously this is just for the Phoenix market um, not representative of every market across the country but certainly probably representative of markets like California, Nevada, Florida, um, maybe some other ones as well, but definitely the ones that have been hardest hit or pretty comparable to this um, might have a larger number of homes on the market, but percentage-wise is about the same. So basically in the Phoenix market, the active foreclosures currently are around the um, 45,000 mark and, and to be honest I don't know where that's num that number is coming from it says net value central but um, I, I've been told in the past that the number is closer to 35,000 total homes on the market so I don't know where this number is exactly coming from but in either case it is a number in this graph which is verified by net value central and, and we'll take that for what it's worth but uh, continuing to show that distressed properties are part of our market, making up a large percentage of it, and that real as realtors we need to be well versed in short sales and foreclosures so that we can help our clients um, avoid foreclosure and then when the home is unfortunately foreclosed on, helping uh, banks um, liquidate those properties so that we can get them off the market and uh, into a new homeowner's hand. So, uh, appreciate you watching and remember that we're here to help improve America's economy one home at a time and we'll see you next time. Thanks.